What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a special episode for Black History Month. We're interviewing our own internal employees and elevating their voice and letting us, you know, hear what they have to say about just the month in general and like their appreciation for the month and what we're doing as a brand. So today, without any further ado, Greg, let the world know who you are. Good morning, everyone. My name is Greg Newsom. Um, I'm the area manager for Area 28, um, DFW slash West Texas, home of the famous Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Um, I've been with the company on the 23rd of this month. I've been with the company 28 years. Cool. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Yeah, you started when I was like, what, one years old? Oh, man, yeah, you were still <laughs> running around in a, in a diaper. <laughs> Cool. So I understand you um, work with students as far as like their academics and grades and, you know, SAT prep. So take us through that. Yeah, um, it started back when uh, my son was um, in middle school. I got involved with um, an organization, um, which was the Southeast Dallas Wolverines, and it was for underprivileged kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I did is um, coached a team with track. Um, help the kids develop them, uh, develop themselves into good young, positive young men. And, um, you know, they were coming from single parents, moms, grandmoms, um, that were raising them through the low income families. And then actually we just branched it out a little bit more with, with Team Grind, which is um, a lot of um, athletes that come through the DFW area, female and male, um, have these opportunities to go to these major colleges and they come from low income. So what we do, we help them prep for their SATs. Um, we help them get together the testing, admission forms, the application, help them write their essays. Um, we also talk to them about interviewing process uh, when the coaches come and talk to them, um, how they should uh, communicate and articulate their words and, and dressing up for these type of interviews. But also, um, um, we help them with their um, um, social media, because in this day and time, a lot of young um, young females and males um, can let their social media get a little bit out of line. Yeah. So we really coach them in um, to help them with that too, because a lot of colleges this day and time go to your social media to to see what the mm -hmm. athletes are really about this day and time, and we try to. Um, do that with them and then you know just also be um, a mentor from a lot of these kids come from single families they don't have a father they don't have a mother um, grandmothers are raising them um, mothers single mothers are raising them and you know we just we try to be that big brother and not be that father but that big brother and that mentor for them for sure and I know like you know education and sports goes hand in hand especially when you're you know aspiring to be a collegiate athlete so Take us through that process when the kids come to you looking for like guidance when it comes to, you know, being able to be a whole, a student athlete and noticing that you no know, students comes first. Exactly. Um, for one, I did look at it this past couple of years. I had um, a couple of guys that are number one linebacker in the nation um, and the number one running back in the nation in football. Um, they have been recruited ever since their eighth grade year. And we started prepping them um, with their SATs and focusing on their grades and doing tutoring sessions with them. So when it comes to their senior year and they have all these offers, there's no struggle about getting into these universities. A lot of times these athletes are athletically inclined, can do anything, but the books hurt them and they have to go to JUCO sometimes. So um, we partner up with them. We um, developed with them. Um, Kendrick Blankshire, he, matter of fact, he left two weeks ago to go to the University of Alabama. And then Kamara Weeding, who also committed to the University of Alabama. Um, we have program. Their, yeah, great program, great yeah. program. Um, we help them uh, prepare themselves for this day because yeah. you know this day comes quick. And if you don't start early and start while they're young, um, it can get past you. And the things about it, and when we talk with these coaches and stuff, um, they are they are impressed how these kids are developedly um, um, ready for academic just as well as athletic abilities. 
for sure. And uh, the best thing about that is them being able to go to college for free. And really, and you know, not everybody gets to make it to like the NFL, NBA, NBA, or like, you know, baseball and things like that. But just knowing that you have your education there as backup and getting that free ride as well, because, you know, college is expensive, like any way you put it. So being able to go for free and the work you're doing and instilling those, uh, those traits and skills at a young age for them to develop and make it a part of like their daily routine is something very special, Greg. Yeah, we start our age group starts from like 12 to 22. Uh, so mm-hmm. we start them at a young age and get them in the program. And they also are athletically, um, we deal with their nutrition, training, um, making sure they eat correctly, get three good meals a day. And then also um, it goes on further. Athletic ability is there, but the other um, situations, we really mold and focus on that so they can be a better person in this world because you know all it takes is one injury to blow a career in college. And then we really focus on how you can focus after college yeah. if you don't make it. For sure. Cool. Um, that's all I have for you. You're doing amazing work out there. I'll let you have the floor. You can shout out your store, um, all your people in, in Texas and things of that nature. Hey, I really thank you and for what you're doing, Omar. Um, like I said, I've been around for 28 years and what you're doing is great work, man. Keep up the work. Um, I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of what the company is doing for um um for us um in the yeah. community voice really step stepping out there um and really making things happen but um the thing about it but they're standing behind it i know okay. a lot of people say they're going to do a lot of things but one thing i'm very happy with finish line and the other uh, people above they're really holding um their self to it so it really makes me feel proud to work for a company like this um because you know like i said you know 28 years is a long time. And, you know, um, I've, I've got a lot of family into um, the finish line that I've, I've drawn to be close with. But to see this really happen really makes me feel good about where the company is going and what we're doing. Definitely. That means a lot, Greg, especially the accountability part and, you know, us investing in the communities that we serve. So, yeah, yeah it goes a long way. So appreciate you. Appreciate you. And I want to pre say a shout out to all my Cowboy fans out there. Um, Bill, Cook, <laughs> Al, and, you know, that's really going to make a lot of people smile. <laughs> sure. And shout out to your store, too. All right. I want to shout out to Area 28, um, the best area in the company. I appreciate all the hard work that you've done this past year, going through the things we went through, 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 through 2021. Um 2020, excuse me, but 2021 will be a great year and let's let's hit the ground grinding. Yes, sir. Cool. Appreciate your time, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. You too.